What's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back. Look, Google Stadia has been getting shit on ever since its first announcement back in June. And it's getting shit on even harder right now that it's actually been launched. As a matter of fact, I had my own complaints, but really my only complaint was that I didn't get my code when I wanted it, which is actually when they promised it. Let's do it. But about an hour after my upload yesterday, got my code and everything set up flawlessly. And I have absolutely not one complaint about my experience so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you right now. So first of all, when you get into the app, let me go into my Stadia app real quick. Oh, it's right there. All right, now you can actually get into the app because it is actually unlocked. The last game I was playing was Samurai Showdown, which was actually free because I got the Stadia Pro and it was also the Founders Edition. So those two things gave me these two games for free, which was Samurai Showdown and Destiny 2 The Collection. But this is the last game that I was playing, so I'm assuming that's why it's here. Here. So let me go into some of these things on the app real quick for you. So if we go into these little people right here, you'll see there I am, I'm online. I got to claim my gamer tag, man. Look me up, man, Captain Whoopass, and I'm online right now, I'm ready. And you can add some friends or whatever when people start getting on it. If you go here, that's my avatar that I got to choose. Uh, you can switch account. Uh, you can add a Chromecast if you need to, so it shows you your purchases. Um, let me see here, something on here is very important. Okay, so let's talk about this real quick. Data usage and performance and display. Let's go into data usage. Now, me personally, I use Xfinity and my data caps out at one gigabyte. And I looked before I went ahead and pulled the trigger on this whole thing, I'm usually left over with about, I don't know, somewhere between four and 600 gig, depending on what I've been up to that month. So after I did the math, I figured Stadia was gonna be okay for me. Also, I don't plan on using the 4K at 60 frames per second either. I'm more of a 720 or 1080p guy simply because I have a projector and I wanted to mainly play this on my projector and the projector is only capable of 1080p. And since it's a projector, I might as well play at 720p because, you know, projectors don't, aren't that great, right? It, after all, it is a budget projector. But anyways, you can have it set to best visual quality. And it tells you right now, it's gonna be 4K and it could reach up to 20 gig per hour. That's a lot of gigabyte per hour, but that's the best streaming quality you're gonna get out of here. Or you can go to balance, which lets Stadia determine what's good for, you know, whatever situation you got going. Or you could do what I did and, you know, basically I've just done limited data usage. So I'm only going to be using up to, well, it's going to limit my data to up to four and a half gig per hour. And the resolution will be capped at 720p. That's my personal preference. If you want like 4K, you need to be prepared to deal with that data cap, man. So let's get out of that and we'll go into display. So right here, I have the high dynamic range on, which I don't know if that's even gonna do any good since I'm only streaming at the 1080p. And you know, I'm just really probably not even getting this effect right here, but you can toggle it on and off right there. And then there was the terms of service and all that other good stuff. But let's dig into this app a little bit more. So right here, these are the games that I actually own. It'll show all, and I only own two of them, okay? So let's go back and it'll show you some screenshots because yes, from the controller, you can take screenshots. I took one screenshot of the character selection screen from Samurai Showdown and there it is. If we go into uh, the see all, it'll show you that you can record clips as well up to 500 max and unlimited screenshots. Now let's go into the store. So right here, I got some Stadia Pro pricing. Right now, uh, NBA 20K or NBA 2K20, it's supposed to be 60 bucks, but because I have Stadia Pro, I get it for 30 bucks. And these are just Stadia Pro deals. So you can go ahead and see all of them. There are quite a few good deals in here, man. They got this stuff marked down good. And I do plan on purchasing a couple of games. Like I'm definitely gonna purchase Mortal Kombat because it's gonna expire soon. When does it expire? I think it's, uh, yeah, December 3rd. I need to go ahead and save up my pennies, 62 bucks for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get Mortal Kombat for sure before it expires. And I'm gonna get this Tomb Raider Definitive Edition because it's only 10 bucks. Why not, right? So those are the Stadia Pro deals. And then you got the best of Stadia. You know what, forget that. Let's just go into all the games. Let's just go to all the games so I can show you what's up. All right, so we got Assassin's Creed Odyssey. You got some bundles there. Attack on Titan 2, Destiny, I already got that. Final Fantasy. Uh, let me pick this up. Let me get in here. Let me show you this. We got this Farming Simulator, Football Manager, Grid. That looked like a pretty good game. Guilt, that actually looked like a pretty good game. And as you can see here, there is a nice array of games here. Now it's not a complete, you know, library of games just yet, but this is what's available at launch. 
Rage looked really good. I looked at some previews for that. That looked really good. I'm definitely going to get Red Dead Redemption 2. And I don't know which one I should get, man. Should I just get the regular game or should I get like the ultimate bundle or the Stadia launch edition? Because they're all different prices. I don't know how much I'm being into that game. It seems to be pretty good and popular. So we'll just have to see. Definitely going to get that one. The price is not on sale, so I'm not in a hurry to get it. But uh, let's see here. What else we got? Um, you got this motorcycle or biking game right there and Wolfenstein Youngblood, it's 30 bucks. So that's what the Google Stadia store looks like on your phone. And you can go into Explore and watch some other videos and stuff like that. But now that you've seen that, let's get into some gameplay. I mainly got Stadia because I didn't want to have hardware. Like this is all I want for hardware, man. And I didn't want to purchase a console and just, I don't know, it just seemed like it was the right thing for me. So one of the cool things about having Stadia is that you can play on a mobile phone. Uh, right now it's just, you know, locked down to like the Pixel phones, but they'll open it up to all the phones, I'm sure at some point. You can play on your laptop or PC and you can play on any screen, basically. Any, pretty much anything with an HDMI and a screen, as long as you have a Chromecast Ultra hooked up to it, you can play. So let's go over to my laptop, which is hooked up to a 37 inch monitor so we can get some gameplay going. All right, welcome to my desktop. Brought over my controller. Right now, as it stands, you have to hook this up uh, hardwire this to your PC via USB-C cable. Uh, they will be doing it wirelessly soon, but everything's not available right now since it is in its infancy stages. So let me go ahead and plug in the USB cable right here. And then we are hooked up. It actually vibrates. So yes, it is a dual shock and my computer recognizes it immediately. Let me open up Chrome. You have to play this through a Chrome browser. From here, all you gotta do is go to stadia.google.com, and since you already have an account and everything, it just knows who you are. It's already gonna be there. And once again, there's Samurai Showdown. It knows that was the last game I played. So let's just go ahead and get some gameplay going on that. Okay, the game is fully loaded. I don't have to wait on anything. It's just ready to go. The controller's working perfectly. There, I have not experienced any lag in the controller. And I mean, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't as far as the controller since it's hardwired right now. But trust me, there was no lag when I was playing wirelessly too. So let me get this game going real quick. So as it stands, everything is rendering and loading very smooth on here. Now I have seen some glitches where, you know, it kind of just kind of pixelates a little bit. And that's because I have terrible internet connection in my house uh, through my Wi-Fi, through these walls, man. It's, it's really bad in this room, but you know, as far as everything goes in here right now, it's working very, very well. And Pardon me, man, I really do suck at this game. I just learned how to play it yesterday, so I'm not a master, but I can get the job done with my sword right here. And you see everything is super responsive. The clarity is here. There's no pixelation like I was uh, talking about earlier. Haven't experienced it yet, but gameplay on this is nice, man. This, oh man, and this game is freaking, okay. Let me, you know what? It's hard to shoot a video <laughs> and play a video game at the same time, man. I'm trying to talk to y'all and play this game. Okay, so I just beat that chick up, man. I really don't feel bad about it, but now you at least know what this game is like on Google Stadia. Now, let me back out of this real quick. All you gotta do is hold the Stadia button down for like three to five seconds and then you can toggle down. Let me exit the game. And now let's go into Destiny real quick. Let's get a couple of minutes of gameplay on that because that game is super cool. I've never played either one of these games before. So I suck at both of them like royally, but we're gonna get through this together. All right, there I am right there, Captain Whoopass. I've already created my Titan. Let me go over here and just select that guy. For a game like this to play at the speed of this game, come, having it coming through the internet, this is just, it's just straight up amazing to me, man. This is just super cool. Okay, now remember I am playing this at 720p. This is the lowest quality available. Uh, on a laptop or PC where you have a, you know, like a real screen, I don't know, man, this is good for me. But you know, if you want a little bit more clarity, uh, yeah, go ahead and bump it up to maybe 1080p. But remember, you gotta watch out as you start taking it up a notch as far as like your streaming quality because you're gonna eat up that data pretty quick. So far, everything is looking good, man. The responsiveness is there. I don't see any hiccups as far as like the pixelation or like the rendering from the internet. Oh, snap. Okay. Told you I suck. Oh my God. Ugh. All right, let me get this dude. Let me just knock him out real quick. <laughs> man, this game is pretty intense. Whoa, shit.
Okay, that's enough gaming on the PC. Now let's take it to the big screen. So now we're getting ready to play on the big screen and per Stadia, they recommend you actually hardwire uh, an ethernet cable into the, into the uh, Chromecast Ultra. I couldn't find another ethernet cable, so I'm using straight up Wi-Fi right now. I hope y'all can see this, but over at the top right hand corner, it tells you how to connect your Stadia controller. Uh, once you've done that one time, the pairing process is complete and you should not have to do it again unless for whatever reason you just get disconnected and it forgets. Uh, once you turn on your Stadia controller, it automatically connects. And now I can continue playing Destiny 2 uh, from the place I was at on my laptop. Now, as I didn't really get far or into any checkpoints in the game when I was playing it on my laptop, uh, I believe, I could, don't quote me on this, but I do believe that you have a 15 minute window uh, to pick up on another screen if you want to, uh, and it'll leave, it'll pick up exactly where you left off on that game. And I'm not sure if you have to hit any type of checkpoints or not, but it should pick up and you have a 15 minute window for that. But as you can see, I'm playing the exact same game on a much bigger screen that is not connected to a console right now, and it is rendering just fine. I, I see no screen tears or anything like that. Everything seems to be keeping up. Let me just fire some shots off real quick because it's really dark in here and I hope this is coming through really nice. But yeah, man, this, this is so cool. There's no latency in the controller. Every time I hit a switch or a button, it does something. So as far as latency goes, I'm not experiencing it. Now I do have Xfinity internet and I do have the one gigabit connection. So yes, that is helping me out quite a bit. But I mean, if you got a good internet connection, I mean, you should be testing this before you purchase it anyways. If you got a good internet connection, you shouldn't have any problems. But right here, you can see I have no console hooked up. Everything's looking just great, nice and active. And uh, that's Stadia on the big screen. Now let's take it to the bedroom on my regular TV. And when I get in there, I'm gonna go ahead and toggle up my resolution to be at 4K 60 frames per second with HDR on because the TV is actually capable of it and uh, I'll show you how it looks on that TV. So let's get out of here. So one of my favorite things about Stadia is that, yes, you can use it on any TV you want to. So while she's down here doing her homework, I can just come up in here and jump on the screen and start playing my game and it just works. Now, as I stated before, I am not a real gamer, man. I'm super duper casual and I suck at a lot of games. Oh, there's some glitches right there. So my internet is struggling with this 4K at 60 frames per second. Uh, but now everything seems to be fine. And that brings me to a good point, man. This is not for everybody, man. This is not for the hardcore gamer. If you've got like, I don't know, a pyramid of energy drink cans empty sitting in the back of a room or a bunch of Taco Bell wrappers and bags sitting there because you game for like six to 12 hours a day, this is not the system for you, man. It's, it just was not made for you. At least it's not up to that speed just yet. But if you're a casual guy who just wants to play games and you don't wanna invest in a console or be fully invested in something, this might be something you might wanna try out, man, because as you've seen, I can play on my phone in the weeks to come as soon as they you know, uh, release that part. But as you can see, you can play on your phone. I played on my laptop, I played on a projector, and now I'm sitting in my bed next to my boo thing playing video games as she's doing her homework. And it all came from a Chromecast Ultra and this uh, game pad that they sent with it. So there you have it, man. That's my first impressions of the newly released Google Stadia gaming platform or cloud gaming platform. I think it's a fantastic concept and I think at launch it is good to go. But once again, it's just not for everybody. If it's not for you, don't go around trolling everybody's video, man. Stick to the stuff you like. Don't come to a Stadia video talking down on something that you don't even care for and probably will never purchase. That's just silly, man. But for those of y'all interested in this, I say give it a shot, man. I'm not disappointed with the money I spent and I do plan on purchasing a few more games. But look, I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff. And as you can see, I am not a gamer. I really suck at this stuff, man. <laughs> but if y'all had a good time hanging out with me, man, make sure you follow me on my other YouTube accounts and social media. And before you leave, make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comments section and I'll see y'all at the next one. Hey, where you going? No, 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 no. Sit back down. We got to talk about this. You didn't have a good time? All right, then. Hit the subscribe button. There you go. Reach down there. There you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You got to come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right. I knew you would. All right, man. I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?